Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Firefly Tarot. So for today's pick a card reading, we're going to be looking into what problem or conflict or issue will be resolved next. And we're going to try to get an estimation of when this might be resolved. It's going to be tricky because um, I tried one take, did not work. So I'm going to have to kind of fiddle with the question a little bit. Um, so if I do that, you know, I'm just giving you a heads up. So we have the four different groups here and all of the timestamps are going to be in the description and in the comments. As always, just go with whichever one is calling you the most. Take a breath and um, try to clear your mind because any different topic could come up today. You may be thinking about one particular problem in your mind, but the messages might actually be for something else. So best advice is to just uh, go into this with a clear mind with nothing with no expectations. So the four groups are here. I'll show you each one. Um, this is going to be group number one, which is Labradorite. Group number two, which is Rose Quartz. Group number three, which is Orange Calcite. And group number four, which is Polychrome Jasper. Okay, so just take a breath, go with whichever one your intuition is guiding you towards the most, and take your time, really. You can pause if you need to, and whenever you are ready, I will see you at your reading. Hey everyone, this is the reading for those of you that chose group number one, which is Labradorite. So again, I may fiddle with the question, especially because you guys are the first group that tends to happen. It's kind of like molding as I go along. Spirit, this reading is for group number one, please. And the energies for them, especially um, what problem will be resolved next for them and when. Please provide us with clear guide messages for group number one. Labradorite group. I think I might just jump in and ask what's the problem and just kind of see what we get here. So I don't like to lead with negative, but I, I for this purposes, we, we have to. Um, so we're going to do that. And then we're going to see the future energies to see if that, that problem is going to be resolved or if they might kind of take it into a different direction. That, that could happen. Spirit for group number one, please. What is the most obvious problem here? that needs addressing and that needs guidance for group number one. What is the conflict, issue, or problem for group number one, please? Okay, so just one card. Yes, this, if I'm not mistaken, was at the bottom of the deck, I, I think, at least when I shuffled it at least one of the times. You have the four of pentacles here, and at the bottom of the deck, now you have the tower, along with this seven... The seven of wands and the five of cups. I mean, I don't want to keep going in the bottom, but okay. So this is going to need a lot of clarity. The four of pentacles here, this is referring to many types of blockages. There's, there's more than one here is really what I'm getting from this. Um, but this is an issue in your current situation, your life. It could be in your, it could be mental, it could be physical, but probably it's more than one thing. And it is making you feel quite stuck. It's making you feel, yeah, like you're glued in your current place. And it's now becoming kind of like more stubborn energy, the energy itself. So meaning it's not moving. 
Um, so, yeah, okay. Spirit, can you tell us a little bit more for group number one? What is the issue? What is the conflict or the problem for group number one and their current energy, please? Okay, yeah. Um, so this card did actually come out, the Five of Cups, which I mentioned at the bottom. Now it's accompanied by the Ten of Wands. And we have here the King of Pentacles. So with the King of Pentacles showing here, it is showing me that part of this blockage is in the physical realm, meaning either your physical body, your finances, or your environment. But because we also have the Five of cups and the ten of wands it is showing also that this is an emotional or spiritual type of sadness and burden so it is both um okay <clears throat> spirit is there anything we need to know so far about this four pentacles please you know what i could probably do spirit what what caused this the four of pentacles please what caused it Oh, oh my. You have two fives here and this one as well. So this is a doozy. Um, five of pentacles and five of wands. So someone in your life or like this is either a situation or talking about directly a relationship with a person. Someone was left out in the cold here um, or there was a mixture of being left out in the cold as well as arguments and battles. Okay, so that is what is going on here. That's where it stemmed from in the recent past. With all issues, if it's especially recurring issues, there are blockages stemming from traumas from a long time ago. But this is in the recent, yeah. So you may have been arguing with someone, you may have turned your back on someone, or someone may have turned their back on you, okay? The energies can always be reversed. And this left you with a knot in your energy, like a knot in the muscle where we have to work that out and release that trapped energy. But because there was not this release of emotion and energy, this turned into a burden and it then turned into sadness within yourself. Okay. Do we need to know anything else about how this started, Spirit? How this was caused? The death card. I don't know. With this card, I, I just had this feeling that you had expectations for some kind of new beginning and it just completely it just did not go that way at all um spirit can you tell us more about the five of pentacles and the five of wands please that was like a snap you saw that oh that's why Every time I see this card, I have that reaction. It's just, it's, ugh, you know, because I, I feel it. I feel it. You know, it's interesting because before I was um, even doing the reading, I felt a pain here. Even before I was starting the reading, um, maybe it was just I was feeling the collective energy. And yes, don't worry, I ground and protect myself. But sometimes it still gets through. Um, yeah, so there's heartache here. There's heartbreak, heartache. For those of you that it is not related to, let's say, a friendship or a relationship, this may have been um, something that was close to your heart anyway. Something that definitely caused disappointment. Yeah, disappointment, sadness, or letdown of any kind. Discouragement. I don't know. It could have been something uh, with rejection as well. Again, this is the recent past. Okay? So like the last couple of days, weeks, or months, depending on your situation, because it, it will be different. But this is not like years ago. Although, of course, it could reflect something, like I said earlier, about like repeating patterns. So, Spirit, can you tell us anything more about this energy we see on the table? <clears throat> okay. Anything else? Okay, so we are confirming, even though I didn't even have to directly ask this, this problem meaning okay let me let me phrase this carefully the problem that will be resolved is the blockage it created for you and for some of you this is gonna directly relate back to um maybe resolution with a situation or person but the problem that's going to be resolved and i'm e even feeling lighter in my in my heart is the blockage it caused for you so um here we have 
the energy that it's like transitioning into. We have these beautiful six of wands and the knight of cups. Lots of healing, success, victory, and you're you're looking up, you know. You're looking up, uh, meaning, you know, you're becoming more positive and you're looking up in terms of your perspective and you're moving forward. There's two images of the white horses. Let me just show you that again. <laughs> the two images of the white horses. This is really, really significant, you know. So I think in essence, this is your fresh start. This is your death card. You're going to be able to create some kind of new beginning for yourself and yes unblock yourself from this really stubborn four of pentacles energy so let's get more definitely a lot more here um spirit can you tell us now uh moving forward i'll, I'll just phrase it this way spirit moving forward please what will be resolved for group number one what will be resolved please yeah okay Yes. So this is good. This is awesome. You have three knights in a row in addition to that other horse that I was talking about. Look at the movement here. This is great. Before, I felt like you were glued to the ground. We, because like, when I say we, it sounds weird. But like when I say we, it's because I'm sharing the energies as I'm channeling. We couldn't move. Like, it, it wasn't paralysis. It was just like glue. It literally felt like glue. And I'm just like, oh, goodness. Um, but here, total opposite. Knights of swords and of wands. These are the, the faster moving knights. And before we got the cups, we did not get the pentacles, which is the slower stuck horse one. But we got the movement horses. This is good. Passion, uh, clear direction moving forward. There's motivation. There's a lot more optimism and positive thinking compared to over here, okay? So you're looking up from, oh, that's what I meant by looking up from this. So actually both, these these both, see? Yeah, you're looking up from that. So it won't, it, your perspective will be very much improved in a way of, um, again, feeling more hopeful, optimistic, uh, just overall positive. And then over here, we have the Queen of Swords. So this is your clarity, by the way. Um, we also had the knight over here, but for here with the queen of swords, this is you, part of your resolution internally, like what your soul was looking for, was that clarity. Like, yes, it, you desired direction and the ability to move forward on your path, but you also have here clarity. So maybe there was some kind of truth that came towards you. Um, now, what I'm not really seeing, although for some of you, yes, it could be the case because I'm seeing this down here, but it really, it truly does depend. Um, I'm not really seeing that these energies as it transitions. It's a really cool way that this flows. It was seamless, actually. So you're going to, you're going to feel like, you know, this heavy energy and then little by little, you know, take it one day at a time, as they say it gradually starts to improve. And each day, it gets a little bit better, a little bit better. Um, but my point from before was that I'm not really seeing the interaction or influence of any kind from another person. I feel like this is something that gets resolved within yourself, which is really, you know, that's very wise. And that's actually a, a very uh, positive thing to do first. So let's see if let's see if there's messages in regards to whatever was causing that though let's see if that gets resolved i think i need to get another deck um spirit is there anything in regards to this energy here what happens there does this get resolved spirit what happens oh interesting so again, this is going to super depend on your situation. I can tell it's almost like a split. Okay, so here's how I'm going to split this up. Because down here, we have you being just by yourself. But then there are others of you that, yes, you reconcile with this person. So I, I'm aware that that's like total opposite messages. But there's a reason for that. Um, so I'm going to put it, I'm going to probably frame this... Um, I, I guess as straightforward as I can, if there, if you feel like if you argued with someone or there was some situation, if it wasn't a person, it could have been a situation. Um, if this happened and you had love and you had love for this person, whatever kind of love, 
or if there was positive energy somewhere, if there was hopeful energy and there was like um, something more positive to be given to the situation towards you and towards them, then yes, there is reconciliation. But if this was a negative situation or a relationship, let's say, and there was just way too much negative and this, let's say, person or situation kept taking from you and taking from you and, and creating chaos and stress, then, then no, you will remove yourself. Okay, so ask yourself which category you may fall into um, and that will be the answer. So, for example, if it was like, if, if you had like an argument with a close friend of yours, um, or I'll, I'll just say friend for now, if you had an argument with a close friend or maybe a family member or something like that, you have history, there's a lot of love there, there was a lot of support in the past, um, yes, you will come into reconciliation. But if this was something else, maybe it was like an abusive job or a, a situation that was really not serving you, or, you know, of course, something with like um, unhealthy attachments or whatever, I, I see you successfully removing yourself and just really moving forward with your success, okay? So this will happen because there's, you know, of course, many people watching. So we have to have the distinction there. So I hope that that was clear. Sometimes I get, you know, confuddled myself, but I hope that that was clear. So we're going to get a little bit more clarity just to give guidance in the situation. We're going to use the, uh, the, the brighter original cards. These are a little bit muted. Spirit, in regards to the outcomes for group number one and this conflict issue or problem, can you please give us more on the future energies? What, uh, moving forward, energies for group one and this energy stream we're looking at here? That's interesting. And really, look, you have the death card again, and you have it paired with the five of pentacles again. So yes, you're going to have a rebirth from this feeling. So if you felt like this is you now, not the other person. Um, well, I, I always stop myself because honestly, energies could always be reversed. But let's just go with you for a second here. Um, you're going to have the rebirth feeling of this feeling left in the cold or whatever, abandoned or coldness in general this energy you're going to have a rebirth of this energy so again more success feeling here more happiness and harmony feeling here lots of um pure light energy like when i say energy of love i usually mean of the heart space in general i don't really even mean romantic anything um spirit can you tell us more what will be the result here for group one and this energy stream please okay this is good yeah, and actually we have this again at the bottom, Six of Cups. So if you felt within your intuition um, that you did want to reconcile with someone, and again, remember, that's only under the case that they are um, that there's there's hope for positivity there not if it's the other way around like just be careful I always have to make that disclaimer there um, I do feel like that this is coming through this is friendship this is friendship love connectedness um, and just overall a pure energy it is very much harmony energy so yes the word reconciliation did come through and we have here the queen of pentacles as well as the star card more positive energy coming through before we had the king of pentacles the king of pentacles looked a little down it looked a little bit like let's not look at the situation let's just focus on material things but in this fresh perspective i see that instead this turns into self-care this turns into more prosperity and over here wish fulfillment but like encouragement hope yes a lot of hope there's hope and inspiration here so let's just uh, i think the final thing i want to get is the guidance on how to kind of go through this journey because it's not going to be just one thing to the next there's going to be a whole journey in the middle um to get to this point later spirit what is what is your best advice messages or guidance for group number one in their highest good to deal with this problem for group one okay so we do have this at the bottom interesting because the Eight of Wands could mean a few different things, but I, I feel like because this is here, their guidance does have to do with some form of communication. 
but it also has to do with movement though so let me see you also have the hanged man so in regards to the burden that it left on your heart which by the way i'm feeling again i'm feeling it right here it's weird that it's like in the upper left corner i don't know why it's doing that um the advice for that part it's clarifying the ten of wands i think you guys have heard me say this a thousand times before but it still is true uh we have to surrender to things that we cannot control surrender the burden surrender the worry because if we do everything that we can do, if we're honest, if we try to do the right thing, if we take action, that's the line. Anything beyond that line, we cannot control and it's up to the divine. So that is for the Ten of Wands, the guidance here. You have to trust within the divine that everything will work out within the highest good. Again, as long as, you know, provided that you are putting out those good intentions, and of course it will work out in the highest good. It just, it just will. That's just how it works. Spirit, can we have a little more clarity? What is the advice for them in this issue? Specifically, what, what is the advice here? Um, yes, they're, they're, again, they're talking about communication. Clear, open, and honest communication will set this situation free. <sighs> yeah, I felt it. I felt it. Um, I actually got an image. This was really nice. I got an image of this white bird flying. Poof, like, it just, like, opened up from that space I was referring to. And it, and it just, like, flew open. It was really a, a nice image. Remember before I said about the queen of swords? So that's how. Because you put that good honest clear energy out there and and you spoke truth and by the way truth is unbiased it's it's not like we're just speaking our mind speaking our mind and speaking our truth are two different things um because the mind can be biased and the mind can be very negative but our truth is like basically cleared of all of that and it's just like speaking from a place of our pure selves our higher selves for example our mature selves you know whatever the case is but yeah, so here we have um, more healing at the bottom. I feel like this is causing just so much anxiety, but ultimately I feel like there will be this collaborative energy where there will be some working together. It's still, I mean, it, it goes on and on at the bottom of the deck though. But um, yes, no deception. You don't have to hide here. This goes for emotions. It goes for like, yeah, like whatever the feelings were. Um I'm not saying that clear and open, honest communication is an easy thing to do, but they are saying that this is the best advice for your highest good. Just follow your intuition and, you know, just do what you can. It often is good practice to write things down first. It is so helpful because you get to weed through all of that extra stuff and you get to really land in the truth. Um, so maybe make make a little bit of a, an exercise of that and see and see what you get. Um, now, the last thing that I'm going to do is get the timing. Let's see when this will be resolved. Spirit, can you tell us specifically when might this be resolved? Around when might this issue be resolved? Okay, you have here the nine and the two of, of wands. Interesting. Okay, so when I was looking at it over here, this energy is a little heavier and stickier because of the glue image that I got um, than, I, than I originally thought. Because I, th I was thinking here that it would be resolved. Let me, let me see. Six of Wands. Um, I'm really drawn to the Six of Wands. This is where it starts to look up. Oh, I see what they're saying. Um, the the direct conflict with the other person, if that was relevant to your situation um, and this movement, that part does take a smidgen longer, okay? Um, it does take a little bit longer. But this portion here, where you're starting to feel better, happens much sooner. So I would say... Uh, this might happen within the next, for some of you, okay, be careful with this one. This might happen within the next four days for some of you. But for others of you, if it's going to take a little bit longer, it's a, a more of a shaky time frame of one to two weeks. But with like the other stuff over here, it's a little bit more into the future. So when you have like this total 
um, kind of like that, that bigger rebirth energy and this bigger flow of passionate movement forward. Um, it's going to take a, a couple more months, I think, to really get the full experience of that. But yes, you start to have this resolution sooner. But you will see that it starts to unfold layer by layer. So you're not going to be like waiting around. This is going to happen actually pretty soon. Um, I feel like this happened sooner as well. I feel like this is talking about the sustaining of harmony. Again, depending on your situation. Um, so that one is going to stay. But I feel like right around this area, this is where everything starts to transform. Um, what you'll feel better in first, again, is your outlook. You're not going to be looking down. You're going to be feeling more optimistic, and you will also, in a in a more soon in a sooner time frame, you will have clarity of mind. Spirit, can we have any final messages of uh, guidance or advice or anything for Group One? Anything else, please? You have the Queen of Swords again, and the Knight of Swords again at the bottom, followed by the Ace of Cups. This is really really prosperous energy. Um, for some reason, group one, they are really nailing down the idea, not for some reason, it's obvious, right? Um, this, they, they want you to draw upon this energy, the queen of swords. So um, clarity of mind, truth, honesty, fairness, being able to see in front of you rather than all of the fog. This is, you know, this is not easy if you're in that fog, but you may want to try um, clearing practices such as journal writing, uh, taking long, long walks or um, spending a lot of time in nature. Meditation is a, a huge one. Uh, maybe physical exercise, anything at all that is um, clearing, clearing to you, clearing or cleansing activities spiritually, mentally, and physically will be the best guidance each step of the way. I feel like I do want to get some, just one other thing. Um, I'm drawn to two different Oracle decks. I think I'm going to end up using this one. I, I got this recently. This is the, whoopsie, this is the Crystal Medicine Oracle. Okay. Spirit, can we have a Crystal Medicine message, please, for group number one in this issue or in general? Oh, nice. I got this recently, actually. This is a really powerful card. Transformation snake so that is confirmed for me um for you guys because of this okay so you have the snake try to uh meditate on you know you can you can do anything you want with meditation so you can even visualize yourself shedding the old skins and just wriggling free and and just like moving towards more light and and positive energy um yeah, definitely meditating on that specific thing, shedding the old skins, you know, like dropping the cloak, removing anything that doesn't serve you. And if you need a little bit of extra help, this crystal here, that's what this book is for. I really like this Oracle deck. Um, they're giving us the medicine, so to speak, of what we need. And here, if you get Sheen Obsidian, this might aid you in this process because it will um, basically help you with your rebirth, your transformation. I have this obsidian. I, I honestly don't know if it's the same thing, but it's like, it probably looks like this. Um, but yeah, see, see if that might help you. Just Google it. Even just looking at the stone could do something. But um, so yeah, group number one, that's, that's the messages that I have for you. I hope that this was helpful. I hope it resonated. If it didn't resonate at all, um, it might not be the right group. Um, you can always check out personal reading info in the description. Thank you guys so much. I'm sending you love and blessings, and I hope to see you next time. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.
Hey everyone, this is the reading for those of you that chose group number two, which is the Rose Quartz. So we're going to start off on kind of a, it is going to sound like a negative note, but that's obviously why we are here. We're going to look at what the problem is and then the energy surrounding it and then the outcomes, the most likely outcomes. Spirit, this reading is for group number two and the energies for them and what problem will be resolved next and when. Please provide us with clear guided messages for group two. Okay, so let's just dive right in here. Spirit, for group number two, please, what is the problem, issue, or conflict that they are dealing with right now that we need uh, messages on today? Okay, for group two, please, what is the conflict issue or problem for group number two, Rose Quartz group? All right, the first card and it was the only one in that shuffle that we got we got the three of cups so this may be involving other people a friendship or some kind of a collaboration we're gonna really have to clarify this because it's it's kind of faded away i don't know why we have here the knight of pentacles and the king of wands okay this is interesting okay spirit can we can we have some clarification please what what is the problem and in what area of their of their lives? There's a lot going on here. There may be okay. They're probably identifying more than one issue. So maybe you guys, um, went before you made the selection, there's a chance that you were thinking of more than one thing. So let's let's see if that's the case here. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we have the two kind of obvious cards down here that have to do with problem. We have here the Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of worry and no answers here with this. Uh, okay, what else? We also have the Ace of Cups. This is definitely a matter of the heart, whether it's friendship or something with any kind of a relationship in your life. Um, with the Hierophant, this could be like a spiritual relationship going on here. And with the Wheel of Fortune, the problem here is becoming that it's actually distracting you and even diverting you from your path. So it has slowed you down. It has not halted you, though, which is good. But it definitely has slowed you down because of the heaviness that's involved here. Let's see what else I can get for you. Spirit, if we can focus on just the one thing, can you please clarify the Three of Cups? What's the problem? What is the issue? What are we dealing with? Okay. I'm getting a little of a bit of a mixed message here. Um, I don't know. Maybe for some of you, the problem is distance with a loved one. That's kind of what came up directly here. Uh, yeah, that could be something here. Maybe that is actually it. Um, I feel like there is this strong, beautiful connection you feel with, whether it's a friend, um, a family member, or a loved, you know, a romantic interest. And I feel like there's distance here between the both of you. And, um, I feel like one of you, uh, I'll, I'll start just with your energy here because it can get reversed. But yeah, um... There is this wanting to offer something or wanting to be closer or something like that because there's like literally a world between you or it could be geographical, it could be emotional, but there is distance here. Um, again, matters of the heart with the Ace of Cups. This is really heavy on the heart, especially because of the spiritual component here. There's a lot of uh, learning and what, what else here? There's a lot of learning and mentorship in this connection or something like that. Um, it's either you or the person. It's not clear where it's coming from. Um, sun card at the bottom. I feel like that's part of the yearning here. Spirit, can you please give us more clarity? What is the problem that group two is dealing with? It's like the feeling of missing out and just feeling like completely in the dark about something. Um, Seven of swords. I feel like there's a lot of hidden emotions here too. Okay, I think I'm going to have to get some, you know what I'm going to probably do? Let's actually take a sneak peek here 
at the future energies to get more clarity on the, the present. I know, it's weird, but I'm going to have to do that. Spirit, moving forward, please. What are the energies for group number two specifically and what will be resolved for them next? Moving forward, please, for group two. Oh my goodness. We saw the sun card at the bottom and I, wait, well, I don't know where I just put it. <laughs> but, but here it is, look, see? This is going to be the resolution. This is beautiful. So from this deep sadness, it totally reverses into this um, high vibration and this intense happiness. Okay, so what is this? Let's, let's see what actually happened here. Something here was destined, though. It could have been a connection or the connection in question. It could have been just something having to do with you moving forward on your path. But this is something that was in your destiny or like in your life path that was meant to come through and come full circle here. Spirit, can you tell us more? What is this, the sun? And what's going to happen moving forward in the resolution, please? All right. Yeah, there's some, um, this is wonderful. Look at this. This is really something. This is union energy. And you guys are kind of similar to group one. It, you have different vibes, but there are a few similar cards here, which I'm finding interesting. Um, they got the death card twice, but you have the fool. They also have that this one too. But yeah, this is, this is strong union energy. There may be travel involved or some kind of moving towards. Uh, what else you have here? The hermit, the moon, and the king of cups. Uh, I feel that there was a lot of, there will be, I should say, a lot of thought put into the situation here with the Hermit. And I feel that with the Moon card, anything that was confusing or unanswered will get answered. And this will really um, lighten your heart, specifically lighten your heart and make you feel in better flow and make you just feel more stable. And again, the word is lighter. So that's uh, part of it here. If it's not resonating, by the way, that, that it involves another person, this could be talking about you and your internal journey, your um, your own sense of joy, your own sense of clarity and spirituality. So it, it obviously depends. But let's, let's see more here. Spirit, can you tell us a little bit more about the resolution for group two? Wow, you got... Okay, I, I'm sorry to compare, but you got exactly, exactly the same combo that group number one got there there could be a few messages for you there because this is sounding kind of similar i don't think it's really going to match up perfectly but there could be a few messages there that you need to hear but look you got exactly the same combination so in your resolution here i do feel like you have some kind of wish that was fulfilled in the scenario um but in your case, I see this as you receiving fortune, you receiving some kind of fortune, some kind of offering, some kind of like positive thing in your way, coming your way. Um, Spirit, can you tell us more about group number two's, okay, let me rephrase it slightly. For group number two, Spirit, what is the, uh, what is the problem, the most important thing we need to know here about the, I guess the biggest challenge for them currently that it will soon resolve spirit. What is this for group number two? What does it involve? And what is the clarity behind this please? Okay. Whoops. Uh, yes, it, um, it is showing again, some kind of conflict. We have the five of swords here. I really do think that it had to do with other people. Um, so digging back over here, this halted you in your progress. You were moving forward and you were actually feeling pretty good. But I feel like this issue completely, you know, it, it kind of knocked you down or it distracted you. It, definitely distraction or for some of you like um, taking like some kind of a detour. But it has to do with other people. Like, um, so here with the Three of Pentacles, this is a little bit more work or oriented. And here it, it's looking a little bit more of a social thing. But um, for some of you, it probably could be both, but this is something having to do with your uh, f situation with other people or your collaboration with other people. Um, let's see what else here. Let me get clarity on just that. Spirit, can you, can you please specify what 
area of their life is this concerning for group two? What specific area? So we have the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Swords and the Nine of Cups. I don't know, here it it, it gives me the sense of it does give me the sense of friendship, but it also does give me the sense with both of these queens here, it kind of feels like an air of authority or something professional. So, you know, obviously it's going to just depend, take what resonates for that one. But yeah, okay, hold on. So let's get a little bit more here. I think what I want to do, um, I do think because you had a couple of overlapping conflicts, that is why some of these messages were like crisscrossing. So I was trying to get the most important messages for us. Um, so let me continue to do that. Uh, let's see. Spirit, moving forward, please. What else can you tell us about specifically the resolution? What's going to happen here for group two? And whatever problem that, um, is like, I guess, the biggest challenge right now. Resolution. Okay, so we have actually this card again. You're going to know... Specifically, um, the I, I feel the the path that will be in your uh, that basically will make you the happiest here. So the Ace of Swords is definitely clarity, truth, and some kind of direction. But I feel like it'll be specifically talking about what will make you happy. Okay, um, that's that's good to know. Let's see what else like maybe versus what might make someone else happy or like if it is talking about a job like you know maybe the job they just as an example like they want to keep you because of whatever reason but that doesn't mean that it's aligning with your happiness so moving forward that is a big part of your resolution so you're going to have wish fulfillment and you're going to have some kind of a fortunate offering towards you whether it's work friendship or something else but the specific key here is it's talking about your wish your wish of happiness. So you will receive this in the near future. They gave me the number three. It could, uh, okay, it's gonna be different for everyone, but in the beginning I was seeing three months, but um, depending on what the situation is, it could happen sooner. Um, so that's all, that's all I saw was three. If it's something bigger, such as a job transition, it'll take a couple months. If it's something in a way of like, um, let's say, Harmony with another person, that's going to happen sooner though. So it kind of just depends. But three days, three weeks, or three months, depending on what the actual situation is talking about. Um, so on that note, let's get some more clarity for that one. I think I want to use a different deck. i just a little unsure of which one to use, but let's try this one. This is the Kauai one. Okay, Spirit, can you please give us a little more clarity? For some reason, I'm like definitely still unclear and fuzzy about this, but it's it's really a, a very promising outcome. So let's get a little bit more guidance. Spirit, what is the guidance for group two in the problem and how can they move towards the resolution, please? Guidance for group two. Okay, no, it's just too many. Okay, let's get a couple more. For group two, please, guidance. Their best guidance. Oh, jeez. Okay. So we're just going to take these. Hopefully it makes sense. So you have here the two of wands. Okay, that's good. Two of wands is a card of like looking out into the future and, and feeling very hopeful. So let's get the bigger picture here. You have the knight of swords. The empress. The two of swords. The Hierophant and the Chariot repeated. Okay. So overall, the these look similar, but they are not actually... Um, like the Two of Swords gives me the image of blockage, but this one definitely does not. I feel like this is actually clearing away the blockage. So you have the two twos here. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Knight of Wands. So the best guidance here in regards to the 
the situation itself in a practical sense as well as the mentality. Um, you have to make sure to keep an open, a, a bit more of a positive and open-minded approach in regards to the future. So try not to block yourself up immediately by thinking the worst thing is going to happen. So that's part of the advice. The other piece of advice here, um, you're going to, with these two cards uh, clarifying one another, you're going to 100% continue to move forward with a lot of motivation. That is, I, I can see, is not going to be interrupted at all. And the way that you can do this is through these two cards, the Empress and the Hierophant. So with the Empress, we often talk about the Empress and power. The Hierophant is wisdom. So if you basically um, continue to align with your wise self, your spirit guides, your higher self, <laughs> excuse me, um, and the Empress, making sure that you stay powerful, this will definitely work out uh, in a very positive way for you. The Empress, this is this is the key here. The Empress is the biggest one. Let me get just one more clarification here. Spirit, the Empress, please. King of Cups and Page of Wands. I'm getting the feeling that this is other people. So you may be dealing with this King of Cups energy, which actually we did see down here. I am not sure who this is. It could be, yes, some water sign. It also could be someone who is quite emotional, or maybe they actually hide their emotional self. Um, and we have the Page of Wands here. I, I do feel like this is someone else. So their emphasis here is to remain in your power, confidence, and your high vibration, especially in the midst of other people who probably were bringing you down before. Um, this is going to be huge because if you can do that, you're going to be drawing in a lot of this high vibrational energy. But if you, um, yeah, like if you feel like a person is making you feel bad about yourself, or if you feel even internally, if you start to feel the five of cups type of energy, um, that is just going to drag you down and, and bring you to a lot of anxiety. So stay in your empress power. Okay. Stay in your hierophant power. This is going to really require you to connect more deeply with your spiritual team. Uh, Spirit, any other final advice for group number two, please, in this issue, conflicts, problem, anything else? So they only gave me a hint of like when it would resolve. Let's get just a little bit more. Okay, so... You have King of Wands on the bottom, and you have King of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. There's a lot of people here. Like, the court cards are really showing through here. So I, I, I really do feel like there's um a conflict of... There's, like, disagreements here. There's a conflict of mind going on here. So the final guidance here, we have the Six of Swords and this peace symbol here, like, um, very peaceful symbol, the leaves there. The Six of Swords is a card of moving on, moving forward. Especially of something that was causing you to feel shaky in the waters. So you're moving on towards peaceful waters. So again, um, I, I, I feel that it was a, a, a little bit confusing. Probably because there's multiple people involved. And also because there's like there even might have been overlapping issues involved here. So for some of you, maybe you were actually dealing with friendships and work problems or family issues and relationship problems. So I don't know if that's the case, but I do see that there's a lot of things going on here. There's a lot of people going on here. So let's get a final advice message from the Crystal Medicine Oracle. This is actually a really helpful deck. I'll show you the book in a second. Spirit, can we have a final message for group number two, please? Group two. Interesting. Um, you have number one, ancestor healing, tree and amber. So basically this, this deck is talking about all of the different medicine that will help you in your journey. So to draw on the energy of um, the tr like a tree and nature, amber is a crystal or, well, I mean, I, 
yeah, it's considered a crystal, but it's not technically a crystal, but um, it is something that may help you in your journey of healing these um, these patterns. So for those of you that it was resonating that this had to do with family, like this is literally talking about something family line. Um, otherwise, it's talking about repeating patterns that you're seeing in this issue that have stemmed from something way before so like karmic energy again similar message from group one i just i'm curious if that would resonate with you guys so yes focus on healing patterns that's the final message focus on removing the negative attachments from these things that kept you in that loop um, and if you are interested just search the uh amber healing properties just see if it resonates with you and if you feel so called maybe you can you can have it as well so that it can help you in your healing journey so group number two um i do hope that this was helpful it was a little confusing for me so if you want you know let us know in the comments uh what's going on with you hopefully it was helpful in some way and um i wish you guys the very best in your journey um, like I said, the timing is going to resonate differently for each category. So just hopefully that makes sense. So thank you guys so much for tuning in, uh, sending you love, and I hope to see you next time. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye. <clears throat>
work or finances, but there's there's a couple of mixed messages here as well. So we have here the eight or the uh, eight and the six of pentacles here. So it just gives me this impression that you're working really, really hard on something. Um, then to the point where it's becoming unfair to you could be a possibility here. Um, here with the king of wands and the seven of swords, there could be someone that is... I mean, it It could be a couple of things. It, it looks like either they are hiding their feelings or they're even kind of being deceptive in some way. And this is causing a lot of uh, shadow in your life and a lot of negative energy in your life. And it's become like the heart of things. It's become the focal point of things. The card literally landed right in the middle of all of the cards. But what's interesting is we have the temperance card over here. So, we have a layered issue here, group three. Let's get some clarity. Spirit, can you tell us more? What is the most salient problem here? What's going on? Some of you may be struggling with, like, the, the balance. There's, there's two images of balance here. So, some of you may be going back and forth between staying and going in the situation or it could be a relationship of course or a friendship or something but I feel like uh, the deeper part of you has wanted to walk away for a while and the nine of pentacles is talking about your freedom and independence I feel that many of you if this is what your intuition is telling you, that you achieve this, actually. Oh, look, intuition at the bottom of the deck. That's good. Well, it's going to depend on what the intuition is telling you in that moment, right? So let's take a look at the future. I do see, either way, you have a powerful new beginning here. This is crystal clear. This is the fool and the magician, zero and one. You do have a very powerful new beginning. Um... Some of you, it may have been a risk. It may have felt like a risk to jump off that, you know, he's on a cliff here to like kind of jump off into this new direction. But with the magician here, I also feel like you're, you're confident. I feel like you manifested this, that you were certain of your path and you can even see your success from a mile away. So this is uh, quite a turnaround here. Yeah, just a very prosperous new beginning. So I didn't have to even ask, but the energy, it's almost as if the cards corrected themselves. So this resolved actually very quickly. Like you, so the energy here is that you did not have to question this choice. You knew exactly what to do. And you knew what to release. So Eight of Cups is the walking away card. So it just depends on your situation, what it was you walked away from. So to recap, some of you are dealing with a situation or a relationship. But it is also relevant that you may have been battling your inner, uh, fighting your inner battles too. <clears throat> Let's say, for example, with stuff like addiction or anything at all that caused an an imbalance in your life. Again, I feel like most of these readings tonight were overlapping messages. That's why I was like a little confused. Um, but if you're experiencing it now, it's going to be very clear. And what's nice to know is the result is your powerful new beginning. And I love this because you feel free. You're very confident and you're lighter. You're, you're, you're fluttering like a bird. Okay. But I am curious about this, though. The Devil, the King of Wands, the Seven of Swords. Um, uh, it does seem as though someone was deceptive here. Oh, boy. Let me get some clarity. I think for you guys, I'm going to... Let me experiment with two different tarot cards, tarot decks. Let's try this one. I, I don't know if I wanted the Mystic Mondays, but... Oh, look, here's at the bottom. That's funny. Um, let's Let's take a look here.
someone may have been fixated on something here with the devil and the eight of pentacles. Spirit, can you please clarify the devil? It's the biggest card in my face here. Um, can you please clarify the devil? What is this? And what does it have to do with for group three's life right now? Yeah. Oh, look at that on the bottom. It's very potent. Um, yeah, this is battle. This is heavy, heavy battle energy. And again, it just purely depends on your situation. So because of the different people watching, uh, some people might deal with people every day, like at work, at home, but others of you that are watching, this is not the case. So this is an internal battle. So um, just again, take what resonates there. But but this is really something that has just caused discord and uh, imbalance. Yeah, lack of harmony here. Get more spirit. Can you tell us about the King of Wands? Well, well, yeah. Let me let me clarify these two, um, the King of Wands and the Seven of Swords. Please, can we have clarity? What is this? Who is this? What or who is this referring to? Let's see what else? Okay. Um, now this is only for some of you. If it's resonating that you know, like if you do have someone in mind. Here's here's a king of wands in your in your life for, for this portion of you guys. Um, you are very aware that this person is hiding something from you. You're very aware that they are hiding feelings or hiding words, hiding truths, um, hiding addictions with the double card here. You're aware of it. You already know this, okay? So that's for for some of you. Um, there is a lot of emotion underneath the surface for this person. I feel like they have a lot of hope internally. And you also have a lot of hope. Um, I do feel like there's a lot of love, whether it's romantic or other, like whatever else type of love. I feel like there is that still. Spirit, can you give us give us more about the King of Wands and the Seven of... What is... Well, that's actually what's hidden. So I was going to just say, like, what was hidden from you? You already know. <laughs> like, you already know what's hidden. It's the devil energy. So again, it could be any kind of addictions, shadow, negative energies, like internal battles. It, yeah. Spirit, anything else about the Seven of Swords, King of Wands combo? Yeah, I mean, even though it is a difficult and burdensome situation that has caused repeating battles, there is still still a lot of purity of heart in the situation that took me by surprise a little bit because this seemed almost like this person was completely silent and they didn't want to talk about anything but the temperance card is here so depending on your situation if you are dealing with a person if they have this love internally and they seem that they are hopeful or at least wanting positive changes, for sure, things will heal. Um, if it is the case that you just know within your intuition that it's time to walk away, then that is your result. So you see, of course, it, it differs. Um, so that those are the conditions, group number three. The same thing happened with the other groups too, because um, everyone has like a different baseline. So it does seem overall like in whatever scenario is relevant this is is wonderful energy this is freedom freedom new beginning um for for others of you that could have been um it could have been freedom from the devil energy itself like so let's say freedom from addictions if that's relevant or freedom from that dark shadowy energy okay so let's get some more guidance here See what I use. So now I am going to use the Mystic Mondays for you. Spirit, can you please provide us some guidance and more energies moving forward for group number three and this resolution? <clears throat> for group three, please. I am feeling that back and forth, though. That's probably the, the chair shifting thing. I do feel like you guys were going back and forth for a very long time about this particular thing. 
Spirit, what else can you tell us for guidance for group three and more about the future resolution? Okay, this is a common one here. We actually, I think, saw this almost every time. We have the Death card and the Five of Cups. So we're looking at a rebirth from that loss. Okay, so either you're going to have your own prosperity and power, or again, depending on the, the situation, um, there will be a rebirth energy, uh, like whatever was lost, whatever was imbalanced, lost, and in the dark is really going to replenish and essentially be reborn, which is really beautiful because the full card is here. Spirit, what is your best advice for them in this conflict? What is the best and highest advice for them to deal with this conflict. Okay, so you have the King of Cups again. Um, this this person or or situation, this energy is really really strong. So you first got here, Princess of Swords. You see how there's the rays of light at the top? Like, I see this as rays of truth, clarity, and understanding. Um, there must be an understanding of emotion here, deep emotion, King of Cups. That makes sense because the Devil card, if we are talking about shadow energies or addictions or lower vibrations, there's a deep emotional component to um, this, like, th there's something much deeper than what the surface is showing us. We have the Ace of Wands. Can we clarify the Ace of Wands, please, though? What's the Ace of Wands? You must be ready to decide what direction you wish to go in. Many of you wish to go in a direction of, again, your own independence. Perhaps you just want to work on your passions. You want to work on your new beginning. You must be prepared to know where you want to go because this will be up to you. That's interesting. Yes, so the cards that clarified it were the Hermit and the Eight of Cups. The Hermit means look inward, ask yourself these important questions, ask yourself for the inner truths. What is your truth? What is your understanding? And what will be your new passionate path? Basically, what will it involve? or who it will involve or not. Once you come into these inner decisions by your introspection, you're going to be much more stable, like feeling feeling stable about the situation. Okay, Spirit, anything else? Um, what is the advice, guidance for them in regards to this conflict? And also, what how, like what about the resolution as well? So Knight of Wands is similar to the Ace. You have the Knight of Wands here. Um, we have the Devil again and the Three of Swords here. Three of Swords at the bottom, Five of Swords beneath that conflict. Okay, so I have a feeling that... <clears throat> I have a feeling that they do not want you to rush this process of healing. Because the Knight of Wands, you may feel tempted to just up and leave... Uh, meaning, that could be the situation, yes. It's up to you and your intuition about that. But I'm talking about emotionally, okay? So you may have the, the temptation to want to just run away from the, the problem itself and not face this devil energy. And that is understandable because this is pretty uncomfortable. And I don't think that anyone really wants to have to confront this energy. Um, but it is advised that you spend a little bit more time being present with the conflict, seeing what is it telling you? What is the lesson here? What are you meant to learn from this? And then, you know, kind of come back into your center. Um, because if you don't deal with this, the reason why they're giving you this advisory is because if you don't deal with devil energy, it is going to come right back, perhaps in a different form entirely. Um, the only way to resolve dark negative energy is actually by light. 
not by avoidance or not by more negative energy. The only true way is by light. So this means understanding, it means clarity, in whatever case it means compassion, it might mean forgiveness. It just, again, it depends on your situation and your intuition and what you wish to do. But this is their advice for you. So I think that that's pretty solid, pretty solid advice. Um, so now let's get a little more about the resolution in the future. Spirit, can you tell us more about the future and this energy of resolution for group three, please? What will be the resolution here? Or more about the resolution, please. Okay. So we have the six of pentacles at the bottom, which was this card. That's a good sign because I feel like this is talking about things coming back into alignment, actually, because I see, you know, the the pentacles there and they really do look like they're aligning and shining. So we also have the eight of wands. Eight of wands. We have also the queen of wands and the knight of cups. Okay, so smooth and steady here, group three, in regards to your new adventure, because this will happen. You're going to have a passionate new beginning, without a doubt. Um, take your time with it. And with the Knight of Cups here, again, try to focus on the healing of your heart, the healing of the energies in your life in general, in regards to harmony. Um, it's going to be difficult dealing with like if it is a situation here with with someone else that it's going to be difficult. But I think that the easiest way to put it is you know how people they they sometimes make a decision to walk away from like for example a friendship or a, a relationship whatever it is. Some people have the approach where they are doing it in an angry way. Again, that's more devil energy. The easiest thing to suggest here is do it peacefully. So you know how people say, you know, I wish you well. And they really mean that. <laughs> Okay, that is what is advised here. So have peace within your heart. Um, obviously, if you don't feel peace, you, you can start to move in this direction of peace. So try to try to um, create peace within your heart. Love, self-love, you know, just harmony within yourself. And this is what is going to lead you ultimately to a lot of brightness, success, and movement. You have the Eight of Wands here. So there's there's a new adventure coming for you. For sure, a new adventure um, that has to do with your freedom, your focus, and, and your power. Spirit, do you have any other final messages for group number three, please? Okay, so final cards we have here. The Knight of Swords, the Empress, and the Moon. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so remember I talked about freedom and, and, and focus and power and you pretty much are embodying this energy in so many ways. This is abundance, pure abundance here. And yes, you are moving forward here with the Knight of Swords, but the Moon card, this could suggest that a lot of the times you still may not have a clear picture of this path. And again, I will redirect you to the Hermit card. This is going to be big for you. Um, this is this is a time. This is the time for introspection. And if you don't want to do the introspective work, which means meditating, journal writing, like self-therapizing, talking it out, or figuring yourself out, looking inward, looking inward instead of your outer world in all different areas. This is inward, okay? If you do not wish to do that, just, you know... I feel like eventually all of us have to do this um, for the reasons I mentioned earlier. It's it's simply because if we're not solving things at the core level, we're kind of just staving it off and we can expect it to come back again. So I don't know. That's just that's just my recommendation there. So the final thing I'm going to pull for you is the Crystal Medicine Oracle. And by the way, the the, the moon thing here... You know, that's okay. We don't need to know every single step of the way. But the advice, the final advice was was just really about getting a little bit more clarity internally. And this will clarify your path 
outward. Okay. Spirit, final message, please, for group three. That, that was fast. Um, so you have here the divine feminine and you have moon again. Interesting, right? You have moon again. And then the, uh, the crystal that may help you if you, if you want to research this and just see if it resonates with you is black moonstone. So here with the divine feminine card, I do feel that there's plenty that is going to come to you if you give it the opportunity. This means to have moments in your day where you can sit in stillness, receive communication, receive messages from your guides, from yourself, your higher self. Um, and it means to, again, it, it's about looking inward and just having that still moment to breathe as opposed to being focused on some outward goal, the outer world, the this and the that. Like this is going to be important in your path to just sit still and receive. That's like the whole idea of the divine feminine energy. And again, black moonstone may assist you on this part of your journey now. Okay. So group number three, that is what I have for you. I hope that this uh, helped. I hope that this resonated. If it didn't resonate like at all, it might not be the right group for you, but I hope that it did. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm sending you love and I hope to see you next time. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye. Hey everyone, this is the reading for those of you that chose group number four, which is the polychrome jasper. Let's take a look here, spirit. This is for group four and whatever problem will be resolved next and when. For group four, please provide us with clear guided messages for group four. Please and thank you. So let's take a look at what the problem is. Spirit, for group number four, please, what is the problem, conflict, or issue that they are currently dealing with that will be resolved or that we at least will get messages about i'm getting that like that chair shifty feeling from group number three as well for you guys but it might just be me <laughs> okay let's see um actually no it's it's us it's all of us oh boy okay so here we have the queen of swords the eight of cups and the five of pentacles so you know what this strikes me as um it's not referring to this, which I'll explain, this problem. It's actually referring to this one. So this situation here is looking like someone walked away from someone else, right? Whether it's you or a person walked away and left someone out in the cold. The Queen of Swords specifically, this is what will be resolved. Meaning um, this Queen of Swords, whoever this is, you, well, I, actually it is you, um, 
you will have clarity, truth, honesty, or or um, answers. That's the word I was looking for. You you were gonna you're gonna have answers in regards to this. So let's clarify because that was that was a lot. Spirit, can you please tell us more about the um, spirit? What is the conflict here? Again, the shifty. Um, you guys may have been back and forth. Again, same thing as group three. Everyone is sharing a message today in some shape or form. Um, I also feel like you are going back and forth with whether or not you should walk away. So this is a little bit of a dual message we're getting here. Um, tonight's reading has been overlapping there, because I, I think that this should have been more obvious to me. <laughs> but um, I think that when any human being says what problem, we typically don't think of one. <laughs> So that's why I tried to clear the mind, but I don't think that that really was effective. Um, Spirit, can you tell us more for group number four? What is the problem, conflict, or issue at hand? That would be that would actually be a little weird if if I if I said to a person about their problems, you're like, oh, tell me about your problem, like just singular. I don't know if that is ever the case. Um, we have here. Some powerful uh, major arcana cards here. We have the magician, the eight of wands, the world, and the hermit. Okay. This one is more about you. And this is talking about your balance, actually. Your balance that was affected because of this walking away energy. So again, roles can be reversed here. And it may actually, for some of you, be both. I feel that someone walked away from you possibly. And another thing is you energetically, emotionally, or even physically walking away from someone else, whichever one. Okay. So yeah. Um, I feel that this did not knock you down at all. Actually, that is a very different message <clears throat> than some of the other groups. You guys stayed in your power. You guys stayed balanced. You stayed focused. You stayed protected. Um, I'm really seeing good energy with these first three major arcana cards here. I feel that you are wise to protect yourself. You're, you're just very wise in general. You had light. You had tools to deal with this situation. Um... And then here with the Eight of Wands, this is really an exciting energy for your future. So already, already the energies are starting to resolve themselves. Okay. Um, but I will need clarity for this one. Spirit, can you give us a little bit more clarity of these cards? Okay, so we have here the Strength card. Just for my, making myself a little note there. Um, we have here the Strength card and the Knight of Pentacles. So this is so this is movement in your near future. They told me two weeks, um, ish. For it obviously it depends on you guys like situation, but they said two weeks. I feel like this is when this will be resolved. Um, this energy will lift within one to two weeks, and you're gonna grow a lot more strength, stability, and basically groundedness. Okay, so that is, re that is regarding the emotional or mental conflict that you experienced as a result of this. So I'm curious if this will show up later. It, it might, but we'll, we'll, we'll find out. Okay. Um, Spirit, what else can you tell us about this? Uh, the conflict, what else can you tell us about the conflict for group four? Yeah, um, there was plenty of heartache, anxiety, fear, worry in the past. And this was clouding your mind, I guess maybe your judgment or your mind in general. It was clouding a lot for you. It was distracting you to no end. And just creating this unwanted, it, you know, it, it's funny because it's not looking, it doesn't look like a blockage. It actually looks like you were on your path and then you kind of fell into a ditch. So the literal, there's a synonym for that. And it's the word depression. 
So that could be literal for you guys, but you it did look like you fell into this sort of ditch there. But this energy was with you the entire time. You were going to heal from the beginning. You, you were either on some level you knew it or your angels knew it, your guides knew it, that you were going to heal from this and you did. And I see that here. But there was an abundance of this energy in the past, okay? But the first card that we got was the Queen of Swords, you see? So it just depends on the timing of your situation, whether it's like really old or, or like more fresh. But yes, you grew so much wisdom or you're going to sustain the wisdom you currently have here. Again, you're protected and you are focused, okay? And then here is the strength at the end, like I said. Um, Spirit, is there anything you can tell us more specifically about the Eight of Cups and the Five of Pentacles? Eight of Cups and Five of Pentacles, please. What's going on here? Yeah, I'm, uh, I feel like there was definitely, there's definitely a person here that is being called out. The Queen of Wands and the Hierophant. Yeah, this was some kind of either a friendship or a relationship or a whatever kind of a relationship. I do feel like there was, um, I do feel like this was a spiritual one, which is why it caused a lot of pain and grief. So yes, this was a spiritual connection. But the Queen of Wands is really floating away here. So you're the Queen of Swords. There's there's someone else here. Um, the Queen of Wands, they look like they're aloof or something like that. They look like they're not paying attention. Uh, they are probably, I would say, distracting themselves from any of this, actually. But I'm, I'm curious about that. Spirit, can you please clarify the Queen of Wands and the Hierophant? This person could be at a distance or are distancing themselves. They are purposely distracting themselves, purposely. Um, they want to be in a fog because they would rather look at the fog and the confusion and their pentacles, their career, their work, their money, than look at the situation. So in that regard... That the, the messages for you here in regards to resolution, that is unclear so far. We can look into it, of course, but the resolution was more about you. So I am now going to get clarity on this particular situation for you guys, see what happens. But, it, but since it didn't identify itself, you know, it might not be for us, but let's see. Spirit, can you please um, give us a little bit more guidance and clarity moving forward in regards to this energy? Spirit, moving forward, what might be some potential resolution or outcome energies with this energy here? This is, as I suspected, going to be a bit confusing. There is an up and down energy here. So I feel like that's why... We didn't directly get the messages. It's 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 like a back and forth with this. And um, I'm going to, you know what I'm going to do? Um, I'm just going to get guidance on it and just see where that leads us. But <clears throat> we have this here again. Eight of Wands. Spirit, can we just have one clarity for this? Can we just know what is the message here for that? So again, I have to tell you, it's it's really not talking about the other person. If someone else is involved in this, they're all tied up. They truly are. I, I, I mean, whoever it was that came to mind with this, they're tied up. And you are rising above the conflict energy and, and doing very well. You're really abundant. You're happy. You're bright. So at this point, 
I actually feel that it is no longer your concern. And in the future, in the near future, you're going to see that for yourself. You're going to just have that clarity that this is no longer your concern. So that's all spirit wants to say about that. I'm not going to push it, but let's get more guidance in general. Spirit, can you please provide us more uh, clearer guidance here, especially about resolution energy in general for group four? What is the guidance for them and how to deal with this problem? I think that all of the cards, uh, all of the groups got some form of the Six of Cups, which is good because this is talking about peace, cleansing, and harmony. For you guys, this may be internal. I actually feel it is internal, even though the Two of Cups is sort of hinting at the fact that it's with someone else. But I feel that first and foremost, there has to be some kind of internal cleansing here for, for you guys. Um, yeah, especially because of the past negativity. I would spend really, like... I would spend ample time with energy cleansing. So you can do this through, um, I talked about this in the video, how to protect your aura. You know, you, you can do things like using salt to help to cleanse away, whether you're doing a salt bath or a salt shower. You can, <laughs> um, you can use like different things like sage and palo santo. You can um, do meditate, like energy healing within meditations. Whatever is calling to you to cleanse your energy, spend a lot of time doing this. Okay, um, you can. I, I, I got one recently. Um, the salt lamps, I feel like those are actually really helpful too. If you can have them in your space, um, crystals can help with cleansing. Whatever tool or lifestyle change you can do, it is time for that. Um, Spirit, can you give us more guidance, please, for group number four? What do they need to know here, especially about coming to this resolution? For group number four. Okay, so, you, wow, look at that. Um, you have a double confirmation that you're going to have a bright, bright new beginning slash rebirth from this. This is awesome because this is going to be a thing of the past. I feel like you've heard me say that before, actually. Um, so keep keep going. Keep going on this path. And, and you will reach this. See? This probably will coincide with the ending of the year going into next year in a full force way of it, at least. So this is coming. Um, and you're going to have... You're going to be able to attract so much abundance because of this energy here. Okay? With the Empress and the Nine of Cups. Spirit, what is the advice? Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. I think that um, they're really telling you here to stay in your high vibration. Because this may creep up. And this Five of Pentacles energy... Um, well, I feel like it completely, I mean, there's no words. You guys know because you experienced it, but this here, I, even just describing it, I'm feeling blocked as if there are no words to describe this feeling and what it does to your soul. We don't need this, okay? So I'm not saying exactly to fight it, but as much as you can, stay in your pure high vibration. Some ways that you can do that in a practical sense, um, do things that make you feel vibrant and alive and happy, joyous, loving, anything like that. The energy of light itself. So stay in that. And here with the Knight of Cups, just keep going on that path. You're going to have to use uh, pure love energy here, pure heart energy here. Um, definitely lean, up, lean upon your angels and guides because they, they're going to really make a difference here. But this here, it's, it's, uh, it's very traumatic, I think. This is why I had trouble uh, talking about it. 
because I feel like that energy tends to trigger you and it you start to kind of fall back into that over and over again. So this time around, I feel like there's so much potential for you to finally break that. And it all started because of the clarity. Okay, so focus on the clarity, focus on your wisdom. Yeah, this is you. Focus on your wisdom. Um, and of course, I will always advocate for writing, writing, journal writing and any kind of writing will help you here, even creative writing. Okay, so um, Spirit, do we have any final messages, please, for group number four? Yeah, what they just said here, look, you have the Hermit again at the bottom, and you have the Queen of Swords. So what they just said here is unblock yourself, and the Queen of Swords energy coming through as, uh, like, the combo, they're saying to unblock your mind. So your mind has been... I feel the most affected and your mind I also feel is and was your most powerful asset so if your if your mind was blocked then imagine how this was affecting your path so this is probably going to be gradual and it probably will take some patience but through this dedication you will clear the blockage of your mentality which is the sword's energy um, she's here in the, the clear blue sky. There's clouds over here. But if you literally look up at the sky on a clear day, maybe there's a couple clouds, whatever, but just kind of like lounge back and, and just gently gaze at the sky. You'd be surprised at the effect that this has on you because elements of nature will always resonate with our soul because we came from the earth like we came from these ancient formations anyway like this energy is imprinted within us it's highly spiritual it connects us all so look up at the sky i think i said that to you guys once in a previous reading where i said look up like <laughs> so anyway try to do that and and see see what happens um any final words spirit please for group number four Okay, um, for some of you, I don't, I mean, this is not exactly something that anyone wants to do, but some of you may have to do a little bit more digging in regards to finding some of these old wounds, okay, because it may have been more deeply buried than you would have thought, but again, meditation, journal writing, um, inner child work, or even past life regression, any of these things that calls out to you. Uh, the purpose of this is to give it air, to give it air and light. Um, it kind of reminds me, sorry for the gross image, but it kind of reminds me of mold because mold lives in darkness and moisture. I know it's gross, but like <laughs> we need, we need to let it out into the fresh air, give it some sunlight, cleanse it, obviously, right? And um, it won't grow back. Like we, we just need to kind of do a little bit more in-depth stuff here. This is not for a hundred percent of you, but you know, it will be relevant. I only say that because I feel like you've already done this. Many of you have already done this. So just continue. And, um, even consciously how you feel today, how you felt last week. Um, it doesn't have to necessarily be like so many years ago, but they, they want you to put everything out on the table, make it clear and um, this is a double message that that in turn, you're going to cultivate your inner brightness and eventually it will grow into the fruits of your labor, okay? Last thing we will do is get the crystal medicine oracle message for you. Spirit, can we have for group four? Okay, spirit for group four, what is their message? Group four. Okay. So you guys got, and this is the book. I actually, this is actually a really helpful oracle. Um, so just in case you are interested, um, they, they give you uh, like all of the healing medicine things. They even give you the crystal. So the crystal that you guys got, I've never heard of this before ever. Um, is it new mite? right here so google the properties of this n-u-u-m-m-i-t-e yeah so google the properties of this and see if it resonates with you and if it does maybe you guys can can get yourself one if you're able to 
Um, if you're unable to, you can certainly like visualize it and try to get the healing properties from it either way, because it's still energy work. So you guys got healer. This is beautiful. And you got um, shaman, shamanka. Um, you know what I feel is you guys are drawing, you're definitely healers. And I, I feel like you're drawing from ancient sources and spirit team, but it's also coming from within you as well. So you see the healing hands here. The light is coming from this person's hands and they're probably also drawing it from the cosmos because you can see the stars and the night sky here. Um, it honestly looks like they're performing um, telekinesis here, which is pretty cool. But, you know, uh, this could just be talking about uh, the visualizations as well. So focus on that healing, how you heal yourself, how you even extend this to heal other people. Focus on, again, staying in your light. And the final message is about that, the visualization work. Anything that you want for yourself, visualize it with that clear inner mind. And you can even do that with clearing away your own minds. See the clouds clearing away. See the, the darkness, um, like shining light on this, on this darkness. Okay, so just focusing on healing. So group number four, that's what I have for you. I hope that this was helpful. If it didn't resonate at all, it might not be the right group for you or maybe even the right video, who knows, but um, I hope that it did. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm sending you love and best of luck with you and everything on your journey. So I hopefully see you next time. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.